All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Good evening, ladies. It is Thursday, December 30th. A little late getting started, a little getting, you know, back into the saddle of things. And such. <clears throat> but that's what we do here. Ugh. This is a real toss up between going ahead and just, you know, throwing on some YouTube or some music and doing this or streaming the tenants which we've been playing but neither of those really jive with what you know what I wanted to get done because hey, this is some stuff I had to get done I wasn't exactly ready to set up to do this But you know, here. But alas, here we are. Just some stuff I had to, you know, get done or wanted to get done and work on and such. And so I'm like, well, why not? You know, stream it to to the masses and get to jive with some synth wave why why not all right so let's uh let's get at it engineer day job wise I use SolidWorks a lot for a variety of things in my work life I use it for you know machine parts out of steel or aluminum what have you but at home I actually use it the bulk for woodworking That's close. So first on the list. Shelves. So I just moved into this place. And uh, I've got two like small shelf areas. Well, they're not shelf areas, but two small closets, like hallway closets. They're smaller than your standard closet, but they're, you know, they're a mix. So, what we're doing here is currently the boards are OSB or oriented strand board. Yes, does OSB have its uses? Yes. As a shelf? Not so much. It's kind of like cheap. Yeah, it feels like cheap junk. Looks kind of bad. And, you know, they've been used. It just doesn't have the strength that I want it to. So, the goal is to replace it with some three-quarter inch plywood. Oh, 
Hello. A hello, Benda. Why are you hissing? Oh, the Russians getting dinner. How lovely. Um, I'm sad that you're not going to hang out and experience the greatness that is CAD. But yes, this is expensive. That I can guarantee. So what we're doing here is we're not necessarily like modeling anything right away. That's going to come after this, the, the heavy duty modeling of stuff. Just initially, I want to lay out like just what these shelves are going to look like. Does this doesn't need modeling per you know per se? This is just a way to kind of am I going to be able to get away with one sheet of plywood? Will I need two sheets? That kind of thing. Down a skosh, hopefully that doesn't stream, but anyway. <laughs> this is just layout for material usage. It doesn't need to be bottom because we're just making rectangles. Now, I am by no means an expert at this. Whatsoever. Actually do it this way. Dumb. Hello. Let's get rid of this guy. So what we're gonna do? The shelf depth is twenty inches, and I know the width is gonna be fifteen and three quarter tack on an eighth of an inch for the saw blade this you know that's a good rule of thumb it's about an eighth it's a little bit under but eighth inch covers saw blades typically so now we know we will get a board or a shelf and account for the cut good evening then happy thursday to you hope you are doing well so again, we'll sketch pattern this. We'll choose this as our pattern. Flip the direction we're going in. The distance between will be 15, 875. Boom. So now we've got our first one. Now we've got two instances of panels, so now we can get two out of this. One, two. Ooh, I actually can get six. That's a great, great question, Don. Right now, we are just laying out Uh, the cuts I need to make tomorrow. 
putting some plywood and I'm going to remake my shelf for some hallway closets. Alright, so that takes care of that. So we'll be able to cut panels out of one side. So we'll rip it down to length and then just cut panels out. So. So. I should do it this way. Because I think even if I flip it the other way, I won't be able to do a straight cut through with my miter saw. I'll be right back. I gotta go measure this other shelf. The nice part is this other shelf or closet is on the second floor, which is right by, you know, just right where I need to be. This other one is going to be 13 and a half by nine and a half. Um, what we're doing then is we're doing some layout work of a sheet of plywood that I'm getting. Perfect. Um, to replace some hall closet shelves I have. I just want to see how it's going to lay out. That, that's the first thing we're doing. Then, depending on how long it takes the cabinet work to do, we might just uh, switch over to uh, the tenants. I don't quite know yet. just I started running out of time of the day oh hello lols well let me answer that question once again I should just wait and not tell anybody for about a half hour and let everybody file in but no what we're doing is we're taking and laying out shelves on a sheet of plywood that I'm gonna get tomorrow and um Making replacement shells for 
my uh, hall closets. Because they're OSB right now, and I'm not a fan of it. I don't like it. It's not a clean look by any means. So that's what I need the shelf to be, but in order to account for saw blade kerf, we'll throw another eighth of an inch on there. And this just lets me, I'm just doing this. This is only because I really ran out of time of the day. And with everything going on tomorrow, I don't really have enough time to... I wanted to stream. That's the thing. I wanted to get a stream in before the end of the year. And I thought, well, I've been talking about it long enough. Let's actually do like a... A maker stream. So now what we're doing over here is we're setting up our um, sketch pattern, which is just going to repeat it, but we've got the initial sketch. 13 point, what, 625? Yeah, go the wrong way, pop it around. Okay, so this this is why I wanted to lay it out because I knew I could cut it one of two ways. Um. So this would allow me you very easily use my miter saw just cut cut done but i've only got three panels so now i gotta get over here into this stuff and cut because i need five shelves a piece so let's leave that for right now but let's change this so let's say i made the this the long 13625 which is uh five eighths 13 and 5 eighths this way. But we don't need that because that'll go into our scrap area. So we'll just make this 13 and a half. Come on. 13 and a half. We'll go ahead and make this 9.625. To again count for that saw blade so now we'll go back into so we'll have to start that sketch pattern over Hope I'm not, but alas, the way it was. So then we can highlight the lines we just drew. Linear sketch pattern. Okay, we've got our entities now to pattern. And 9.625. Want it this direction, but we want to flip it. Ooh. 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 Do we have enough? Let's find out. Cause that that could be an eighth of an inch.
So this is for the bigger panel for a for the downstairs. This is for the upstairs one. Now, so we know we can take and cut along this line. Cut these guys out. Then we'll have one, two, three, four. But what happens when we make this last cut here? What is this little bit left over? That's going to be the... We'll measure that from that line. And we are at a distance of 9.4850. So, what is that? That means we are 15 thousandths off of where we want to be. What does that mean? That means it's like five human hairs, which means I don't really care. So essentially what we have uh, it, it doesn't matter. It's it's fifteen thou it really really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. For woodworking what we're doing for the shelves for this particular project, this is perfectly acceptable. So I think that's good. I think we can call that a day. Especially because that the blade curve is a little bit less than what I'm actually accounting for. I think it's closer to just a hundred thou. But so what would be nice is I can just cut this, take my saw, just go whomp. Cut out my pieces, take the saw and go whomp again. Cut out my pieces and we're good to go. Save that away, and there we go. All right, so we've got that taken care of. Now for the fun bit. make uh, 
cabinet. No, no. I think we'll get a little bit into this and then we'll just switch over to the game. I really need to make a like a library feature with this stuff. Anyway, so we're gonna use three quarter inch plywood. Pull on a toe kick to be right now we're gonna make the toe kick of the cabinet. And Oh no, an unassuming gray bar. Okay, we'll go to edit material. Oop, don't want teak, I want. For some reason I like pine a lot better. So, I'm thinking, because I need more of a workbench. Like, I need more workbench area. And that's, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Like, okay, well, what exactly do I want it to look like? What do I want to do with it? That's what I don't know. It's like, well, do I want it to be this certain way? Do I want the other way? And this is why I kind of take the time to model this stuff up anyway. So if we do it, we do three foot wide, we are probably going to have to make two of these, which I kind of expected to do. But I think a three feet wide, or like long, I think that's long enough that it's a good work surface. But we don't have to worry about too much like bracing and everything else. So that leads to the question. Do I make it three drawers? Well, we don't really have to decide it with this piece. Thank you. Question is, I want two now for all the straight cut pieces unfortunately with the way I've got this streaming you can't see the drop down menus I've got but what I'm doing is I'm making a design table and what this will do is it'll let me uh Server application. What? Uh, 
Okay, so you cannot see it. But I can. Yeah, my mouse even disappeared for you. But yes, so. That's what I've got. Um, let me check. So this is really like the design process in a in a nutshell. So these drawer slides I want to get. Wow, they are. I mean, they're kind of expensive to begin with, but they're out of stock till February. But that's kind of okay. Oh, they're just out of stock and they're not available with any of them. Cool. So, I guess we're going to design this to parts we can't buy right now. That's cool. Let's assume we're going to make a 21-inch drawer slide. Let's assume we're going to do 21 inches. And go from... So, if we've got a 21 inch drawer slide from... Let's see if I can grab a dimension off of this. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the website. Application. Oh, yeah, we don't need it. It's, uh... Horseback, horseback.
Okay, so that's the bracket. This is always a tricky part. All right, so draw a life. Oh, okay, so this is using that bracket. They've got like a rear bracket you can mount it to. We need the runner length plus. Oh, we do a quarter plus an inch. That means that'll be. What is this? Nine sixteen. Twenty one six two five forty two. Oh, I don't need to actually make it. This will be a We make the generated that. Cool. Now that piece is 21 inches long and we go and work on this other part of this table. And we'll add a 36 inch. Where we support our cabinet. Or... I wish you guys could see all of it, but that thing means a configuration. All the design table does is just drive it by. Um an Excel table. Go ahead and save this part.
Call this one X, just cause it's three quarter, one by stock. I'm gonna actually save this, save as one by with W45, means you're gonna cut a 45 degree angle this too. So I go default. and extrude cut boom it's gone all right so now it's uh let's go ahead and open back up other piece as well and table and the, the nice part about design tables it lets you very quickly do multiple length pieces Because these are all essentially the same thing, they're just a different length, so. Uh, do. Where did my top ribbon go? Looks like we're gonna have to relaunch set application. Why it does that, I won't, I don't know. Open our parts back up. Now notice that I left this side flush or nine 90 degrees i only cut this side because you're only going to really see potentially see this side of it then we're making a subway drop in our piece and right now it's fixed But we don't want it like that, so we're going to float it, and we're going to move it with a triad. Ah. 180 degrees. And we're going to back, and we're going to fix. Now this is where you can get assemblies made fairly quickly. So now you, there's a there's a pop up that you can't quite see, but I can see it. 
Oh, okay, so there these pieces should be the same. So if we go back into our tree feature properties, all config. And of course you can't either. But no worries. So now that 45 degrees shows up, it's what we want to do. Is we're just going to start mating pieces. When we make pieces, we, they, you know, you stick them together, but partially. You know, we've got this. And the, all right, so the reason why I did a 45 here is because you will see this section like from the side. And I, you know, it's a garage workshop cabinet, but you know, it's a good practice to do. Thinking about it. Uh, realistically, I think I don't think it needs. To what we'll do is we'll come back in here and change this 21 to a 20. Only because toe kick doesn't need to be flush with the edge of the cabinet. Change this guy over to forty. Now we just need an inner piece right here. Because so what this will do, this will all line up with the one edge. And we'll make a second bracket. Uh, oh, this is a you know, a toe kick. We're going 18 and a half. So we'll go back over. Make an eighteen and a half piece. And this is actually going to be useful twice because, like I said, we're going to make at least two of these.
over one more time component missing part drop in Eighteen and a half. Same deal. Boom. And so now what we'll have, we'll, we'll take one more. Operate. This will be like a middle brace piece, just just to give that center support because this will be a two cab or two, not two drawers, but there's gonna be at least two columns of drawers. We know we know this is three quarter inches thick. So, what we will want to do is set up a mate, so we'll select midpoint and this outside, see if I can mate it this way. We'll do a distance and we want it exactly at 18. Put it nice in the center. All right, so we're right in the center. And we will save this as no kick right file. Save as toe kick. left so I don't quite know the exact dimensions yet but this helps to at least give me an idea Because what I might do with this is, of course, this will go flush to next to the other toe kick. Then the other cabinet eventually. But I could do a little bit of an overhang over here and here on the tabletop anyways to... Kind of give it, you know, room for clamping or whatever. But that's the nice part is once I have all these parts in here, I can pretty easily I don't know what's with these bots.
So probably what I would do, actually, is again, I'll have to measure this out tomorrow, but this is gonna be roughly nine feet of cabinet or nine feet of workbench on a wall. What we'll do This is the left toe kick. Well, actually, we didn't have to delete everything. But it is what it is. Once again, don't need to. So I didn't do what I wanted to do. That's cool. We'll do it this way. Made these together. As such. Now what that's doing is sliding on that plane between the two 45 cuts. Okay, can you grab it? Off, move a tryout. Ah! That's the one I wanted. Just fix this guy in place. Select this midpoint to this outside edge. Eight. Eighteen inches should be halfway through. And now we just need one more of those. And now we've got a right or a left toe kick too. So we've got this one laid out like so. And we've got this other one laid out where this 45 is over on the left hand side. Are you going to really notice this? Probably not. But that is not the point. The point is, you know, I'll know. Oh, 
So what we'll do is we'll take this last one and we'll make our center section. Oh, oh. I don't know why it, it does that. It must be the streaming window mode. And the reason why I take the time to do all this is just so that way I know what it will look like in the end. I'll know uh, what it. I'll just, I'll just know what it looks like. How everything fits together. Am I missing anything? That way when I go to do it, I can just make up my lists of here's everything I have to cut and just cut it. Because now across this, okay, so what do I need? Well, so far on each one, say this 18 and a half inches one. So I've got the left and the right side that uses two each. Okay, cool. So what does that mean I need? I need to cut four, but now this one's gonna use three. So really seven. So kind of, instead of guessing, I can spend, you know, a couple hours doing it this way. And just kind of go with it. But yeah, to me, CAD is kind of easy. It can be, depending on what you're doing. If you're doing some simple shit like this, super easy. Complicated stuff, that gets... That could be a pain. There. Oh, hello, Deb. You have returned. Uh, yes. Right now we've got the toe kicks done on all the cabinets. So what you saw for initially was I just need to lay out my plywood cuts. For uh, some shelves I gotta do, bake tomorrow, hopefully, if I can find. And this will be for a new workbench. Because I found out I needed to. Yeah. So this will go in. And then what I'll do actually is I'll take and make drawings for all this. Alright, done. 
so you have returned. The question to you is... What the fuck is this? The question to you... Shall we continue on to the cabinet section? Or... Shall we change over to... The tenants? Let's work on the center cabinet. So we want the front face of our cabinet. Make this the back side. Come out here, we're at the 20. But looking online, So from the back of the inside of our cabinet, needs to be a minimum of 21 and 15, 16. So I'm looking at, at a picture here. Of the instructions on these things. We'll go ahead and New art. New arbitrarily make that, but now here's our three quarter inch piece of plywood. Which 
which we know that's going to be. Well, it's not going to be that. Oh, you can't see me typing away. It's 35 and... So our cabinet depth of what? Uh, the drawer slides I would like to use. How is that? Well, because I want about. So, at a bare minimum, I need 22 inches from the very back inside. This might require a sketch. Okay, so that's not going to work. Paint will work. Alright, so if our whole cabinet... This is our cabinet. Here, which is our face. To here it needs to be 22 inches. But we also want to put in Seven. Five. Inch piece of wood. To like. Mount our. Drawer slides to. And then. We've got a quarter inch panel of plywood. And again, so we can put our back na quote unquote nailer strips. have another three quarter inches so this is our entire stack up to our face the problem is okay so then I also so that's all additions but then also gonna have The face frame. Of 
the cabinet. Which is going to be, you know, three quarters of an inch stock. So, what we have to do is add all of this together, and that'll give us what our plywood should be. So, with that logic, this and this cancel each other out, so that sums to one inch. So that means total twenty three inches. I hope you guys, I hope that made sense to everybody else. If it did not, please feel free to let me know. If you're watching this in the future, leave a comment. I'll, I'll get back to you on it. We'll give that a, a bass drop. Since he doesn't need to know what I'm saying. Don't let titles make you think things have to be super fancy. If a master's in engineering, I'm drawing drawing this out in Microsoft Paint to make it make sense. Got a little Microsoft Paint. So, Dad, are you done for the weekend, or do you still have tomorrow? So, the only thing we have to do to this piece of plywood is run a dado. Do you know what that job consists of? So we're going to run our dado. And again, we're going to offset it from this back side. Three quarter of an inch for our nailer strip. Does it need to be half an inch? No, it doesn't need to be half an inch. It be a quarter. Half an inch. Too much. And quarter inch. So what's going to go through this cut is well and if it doesn't if you don't entirely see what that's going to be right now, you will in that that's what our back panel is going to be. Now technically speaking Cabinets don't need to have that back panel, but these will be out in the shop. And I don't really, 
I think it's gonna be extra protection to keep sawdust off of my stuff in those drawers. That that's the one I see. Call this bottom. Like you say, little job, but I don't know if I believe. Are you sure that's all it is? Or are you going to have to like replumb the entire Lowe's? I forgot, like a 15 second delay, I think it added to my stream, but again, we're at zero dropped frames for like the third stream in a row, so give a shout out to Fiber Internet, his stuff kicks ass. Alright, so that's our bottom panel, we're gonna actually reuse we're going to save as we're going to call it our right panel now why are we doing all this because it's just easier because now I've already got a piece of plywood here That in one direction is already what we need. Now it's the height. I just realized. I don't know. Three and a half inch. Uh, depends on what it is. Cabinet or I've never made what what I'm designing up right now. I've never made a cabinet before. Some other stuff? Yes. And actually, speaking of which, I've got a... I can actually show you a... old design because I kind of need to figure out um <laughs> I need to figure out how tall it is here's to it not crashing out on us so now this is almost 100% what it looks like this is this is my workbench I use right now I just need to make another bench I didn't yet to make this drawer yet this drawer right here and when I made these drawers they came out kind of like shit I never made drawers before I was using the side mount slides it, it came out like it was a bad time I mean most of them work I didn't put this one up in there but everything else actually works. And what I don't have shown is at the time, this right here, I didn't have a table saw just yet. But I've got like a contract table saw. So this is actually cut out. And that saw sits flush to the top of this. My miter saw can sit right here and it's flush with that bench. So, 
I would say yeah. From like a, a construction aspect, sure. From a fine woodworking, no. I don't know in that. I don't have enough experience to say that I'm good, good at it. But like those wooden flags you see. Like wooden flags you see and such. That, yeah, I can do that. So 35 plus... I've got 5-inch casters on there, so a height of roughly 40 inches. Now, I did make this specific to me. Because, well... I could. Well, oh, thank you about it. might make the one cabinet others that's only because I have a bench top tape uh, bandsaw drill press and router and I feel like maybe they're gonna need to make a table for them or so That'll be interesting. We'll figure that out another day. It's not a today thing. Here's another thing I'm working on, Dad, to kind of give you an idea. Uh, a coat rack I'm working on. So this will be a American flag themed coat rack. And the, the hooks will go down here. They're just not modeled. actually so it's funny I've got a, like five or six different things in the works and in order to do some of it I've got to make actually make that these cabinet things first so I have some room because long term I'm just gonna, it, it's, I've got a lot of stuff going on. It's kind of ridiculous. So let's see if the toe kick is three and a half inches. What the calculator. <laughs> So the toe kick is three and a half inches. And then the tabletop is probably just gonna be a, a sheet cut out from three quarter. Gosh, I already know how expensive this is gonna be and I'm not happy about it. This is gonna be like 300, 400 out, probably. Probably $300 worth of, like, wood and shit. 
Bless if I'm lucky. So if I'm using a three quarter inch plywood as the top. And then I use that I account for the three and a half. That's four and a quarter. I want the height to be 40. So this needs to be. Really? Funny enough. This panel will work. That's funny. So now what we'll do is we'll put in a Another dado, half an inch deep. our right panel we'll save as left panel what we'll do is edit this sketch delete that relation We'll drag this over this corner. Half inch groove. Exit sketch. Save. What we'll do is we'll go back to open up our bottom panel and we'll same thing make assembly. It's ironic it came out to be in a square like that. I didn't intend it to be like that, but it just happened. Let's 
interesting. Now, measure this. This is 35 and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Sketch. So we know this is thirty five and a quarter. I wish you could see the pop up because there's a window that pops up with the dimensions on it. Anywho, so this is going to be our quarter inch piece of plot. Just give this a bit for Like, I'm not going to lie. Never have made ca uh, cabinets before. Attempting something like this is kind of intimidating. But, like, after going through... going through and making this model. I'm a lot less intimidated by it, actually. Save this as cabinet. Cabinet? I spoke. Okay, cabinet. Cabinet. Arcus. I never said I could spell. Carcass. All right, so uh, 
now that we've got that, let's go ahead and... What is our distance here? Thirty-four and three-quarter. So we'll open back up our one by. Edit our design table. buy in here this is a question do I need to make it three quarter of an inch I think three quarter of an inch is fine or no this is three and a half inches considering these are going to set on the ground and everything I think it'll be fine Like, I might screw it into the wall. I probably won't. So what we'll do... Now what you don't see here either is the joinery method. Is this new? That's dope. So like this obviously will be a glued joint. But like a lot of this is just gonna be pocket holes. You're, you're not gonna see it. Because what we need You know what, we didn't make this too long I think it's going to be So just barely off square. So what we'll do is oh. Sketch on here. All right, we'll come in three quarters of that inch. I think we're doing quarter inch deep. Oh, 
auch. Saver. This is actually gonna be 30, 34, 75. Go ahead, take this guy. Sorry, you have to keep hearing that. SolidWorks is not happy with it. Who is we'll wind this guy up with this one? Once again, we'll flip. Pop that. So. Now we've got that. Take a section view, which will allow us to cut through. Perfect. take another section view of right here yep we have a nice flush fit no interference wow game game with those i understand all works out and when
So I'm looking for move with triad it's that it's that pops up. And just to make SolidWorks a little more mad. That's not right. We're off by a quarter of an inch. Which means this is actually a half an inch out here of error. to save this close it or reopen cabinet carcass so this should be 35 and a half And this is why I'm also doing all this stuff, is so I can eventually save up again. I just bought a house. To buy a new, to build a new PC. 34 and a half. This is again the reason why I do this is because had I done all this and found out my stuff was you know a quarter uh, you know a quarter and a half an inch off not necessarily end of the world but disappointing when I'm kind of trying to keep everything flush together.
Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Let's look at the whole thing again. Blush. Perfect. All right. And with that, it is 1030. We've been going for about two hours. I don't know how much more I'm going to actually be doing tonight. I do have to still put in an order at Home Depot. So I can go tomorrow and get some other stuff. But thank you to all who stopped by, hung out. I know it's a busy week with New Year's tomorrow. So, if I do not see or talk to any of you, you all have a wonderful and safe New Year's Eve in the New Year's. And I will see you all next year. All right? You guys take it easy and have fun.